Didn't you get any milk? All I see is eggnog. Tis the season, Marge. We only get 30 sweet noggy days. What's up, Beard Army? Welcome back. And tonight's video is going to be a short, but very, 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 very sweet one. And um, I'm going to try not to puke this time. So today we're doing something that gets requested a lot this time of year, the one gallon of eggnog challenge. I assume most of you have heard of the gallon of milk challenge, so like that, just way more likely to put me in a diabetic coma. And I wanted to do this for a few reasons. First because this has been requested for the past three Christmases and I've never done it, mostly because eggnog doesn't really exist in England. You have to get it imported and these things are like eight quid each. Not that I'm a Scrooge or anything, but yeah, it's hard to come by. Maybe it'll be easier post-Brexit when we have to do all our trade negotiations with the United States. Who knows? Second, because it's been a while since I did a chug video, mostly because I'm terrible at chugging, but also because people don't really seem to like watching those as much as the eating videos. But more than anything, I wanted to do this as kind of an excuse to do a cheeky little giveaway. I've never really done a giveaway before on the channel, but I just wanted to do something to say thank you for watching all my videos this year. 2018 has been a mad year for the channel. It's grown so much. I've had so many opportunities, even got to meet some of you guys this year. I filmed a lot of delicious stuff, had a lot of fun, and it's all because of you fine people. So to the people that come back and watch my videos every week or every couple of weeks, I just want to say sometimes I find it really hard to articulate how much it means to me. But really, I want to say thank you for everything that you've given to me. Because of you, I get to do something fun, creative, delicious for a living. So, yeah, I just want to say thank you for that. And to that end, I decided to do a cheeky little t-shirt giveaway. So, it's Christmas time, right? Everyone likes to drink a little bit more around this time of year, including myself. So, I decided to give away 20 of my uh, Chug Life t-shirts. don't know if you can see that. Play on words. You know, thug life. Yeah, it's not very funny. But all you have to do to be with a chance of winning is head over to one of my social media pages. I don't mind which one, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, they're all at Beard Meets Food. And assuming you watch this video fairly soon after upload, the most recent post on there will be a link to this video. So all you have to do is, you don't have to like it or share it. I'm not fishing for likes or anything. Just go in the comments and type, give me a t-shirt. Or something like that. And I'll pick 20 people at random across all the platforms and send out some shirts. Bear in mind though that the sizes are limited and they only go up to XXL, but whatever. If you don't want to wear it, you could just use it as like a mouth rag or something. Assuming you're a messy eater like me. So I'll pick like 20 winners within the first 24 hours of the post. Sadly, I can't guarantee I can get them to you in time for Christmas, but I'll try my best. Anyway, let's get on down to the challenge, which is a gallon of eggnog. Just gonna grab this rather large receptacle here. It's kind of like one of those beakers you used to use in uh, GCSE science when you're doing like experiments and stuff. Don't know where that giant cognac glass went that I did the humongous bacon milkshake in. That would have come in handy for this actually. I feel like this video has kind of like an LA Beast vibe to it. Actually, I'm gonna find out how quickly he did it. He must have done eggnog. Right, as far as I can see, the fastest he did it without the assistance of a leaf blower, because I don't have a leaf blower, who does, is around um, three minutes and 50 seconds-ish. I'm sure it's been done faster than that, but whatever. Let's get on with it. Right, let's get this thing started. Flying everywhere. This stuff is thick. I hope those aren't like lumps. You supposed to refrigerate this? God. Gotta get every last drop. Gotta do Randy proud. Alright, so just so everyone can see, this is 
crazy American measurements right. We adopted the metric system a while back. Milliliters are really easy to understand, but you guys are still on quartz and stuff, so... Hopefully you can see that. That says 32 fluid ounces, one quart, which is a quarter of a gallon. I think a gallon weighs like eight and a half pounds-ish. Could be wrong, but whatever. We'll put this out the way. It's a little bit lumpy. Ugh. Oh, it's so lumpy. I should really put this in um, in the beaker, like in advance. But <laughs> look how lumpy that is. Right. So it's been a while since I had the eggnog and despite the lumps in there it is really nice it just kind of tastes like a winter spiced custard kind of like custard with like nutmeg and cinnamon in it I don't know if it has much cinnamon in there but it has that kind of Christmas flavor to it I'm sure my beard is a I think I just got some eggnog in my hair thought it would be more like milk or milkshake. <clears throat> oh, we can still beat the LA Beast time. I'm sure of it. <sighs> Alright. Last <clears throat> quote. Just about. Oh, that is thick. I can't even burp, it's so thick. I normally have no problems with that. Oh. Anyway, that was the one gallon of eggnog challenge. It's pretty easy actually. That just kind of shows you when you're a freak that um, that whole gallon of milk challenge is a total myth but yeah that was a, a gallon of eggnog and I assume probably something like six or seven thousand calories in uh, three and a half minutes or so just a fun little video tonight hope you enjoyed it next one will be up in uh, in a few days 
can't really keep this video consistency up. I know a lot of people are enjoying it, but I'm starting to get fat now, so yeah. I have to take it back down a notch to uh, two videos a week. You know, I'm looking at eggnog now, and I'm thinking that implies that there are other types of nog. Like, does almond nog exist for vegans? Who knows? Anyway, I'm not going to ramble on. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to enter the contest over on the Facebook page or the Twitter page or Instagram or all three if you want to hedge your bets. Just comment, give me a t-shirt. Or you can be more polite than that. Please can I have a t-shirt, whatever. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll catch you at the next one. Oh, that was delicious though. Eggnog is bueno.